afternoon, folks. It's Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently of all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 126 points. S&P 32. Nasdaq 100, 123. Russell's up 13. Semi's up 23. Trendy's up 166. You got gold. Trade out at 18.44.10. That's off six bucks. Silver. Trade out at 22.16. That's up 25 cents. Lights be crude off 25 cents. She's trading at 118.62. Natural gas up 79 pennies. 931 is the print there. And the 30 treasury off one point and 11 ticks. She's trading at 136.24. So let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. Get a feel for what they're communicating to us. If you give me a moment here, we'll change screens in the upper left-hand side. You'll see the Dow Jones Industrials. So if we take a look at the Dow out here, what we can see is what? Ever since the trading day of, what trading day? I believe this was now May 31st, is that it? Yeah, May 27th. What we have seen is basically a sideways move. One, two, three, four. Today is going to be session number five. So really kind of a consolidation with inside that uh, swing point, we'll call it, if you will, that move higher. If you look at the S&P 500, it's really the same thing. May 27th, what have we done? In essence, traded sideways. The NDX 100 hasn't really, it's been, it's mostly been trade sideways, but we did have that nice sign of strength on the June 2nd out here. Um, so it's a slightly sideways to slightly higher. The Russell 2000, more of a stair-step approach to the upside. So the Russell is the one that looks healthier on uh, the top line out here. The semis kind of look like the NDX 100. No surprise there. Now, the transports look to form or should will form bar number eight today or should. Of course, anything can happen by day's end. We still have two hours of trading. But the Dow transports could form a top between today and Wednesday of this week. That's the only topping signal that I have out there. New York Stock Exchange has just been a sideways move. As I mentioned, uh, if you didn't, if you caught the uh, Trader Z show, New York Stock Exchange is really working off a uh, an overbought condition out here. If we take a look at uh, strength inside the New York Stock Exchange, that's actually coming from the top 100 international stocks. Yeah, how about that? There was a TD9 count top. That was in place, and it failed after one full day. So uh, this index could be saying, hey, it's going to target 67.15 out there. The FTSE and the DAX most certainly did wake up uh, today. Uh, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next. And uh, Tom O'Brien will take us home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magnificent Monday. Take care.